be. We've got a starting point, but I think we all agree that uh, after running the service for maybe even six months to a year, that the, the schedule and the stops will evolve, that uh, we recognize that these factors will change uh, as we learn how to run a successful program. But as mm -hmm. you've said, we have to start somewhere, and this seems like a, 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 a good starting point, but we'll be open uh, to different stops, different uh, routes and things to make the service successful, but we won't know until we try. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and this summer will be a, a, another opportunity to revisit our proposal because this summer uh, in June is when most of these towns have their town meetings. Mm -hmm. And we've asked each town to contribute an amount that they're all debating right now, mm -hmm. going through their budget process. Uh, mm -hmm. There's still many questions on the table about the service. Mm -hmm. But come June, after town meetings occur, we'll have a, a better idea of which towns are on board and which mm -hmm. towns are not. And at that point, we'll be reassessing our service plan and uh, adjust the route and the schedule accordingly. Right. So this is a scenario based on 12 towns participating, eight along the route mm -hmm. and four around the area mm -hmm. um, with an assumption about some funding and mm -hmm. some service. Right. And until we get a commitment from those towns, we can't allocate the federal funds until we get a commitment for the local match. So there's a process we have to go through to, to secure the funds. Mm -hmm. There's also a process that we need to go through to promote the service. Right. And that's going to be uh, this summer. Okay. I think that another important factor to consider with respect to the timeliness of this, of course, we've all talked about how gas prices are, are increasing dramatically. Mm -hmm. I think we have some other factors that, that play into the timeliness of this as well. We've got uh, an evolving downtown district uh, here in Bridgeton that's, mm -hmm. that's exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, Wyndham continues to evolve as a service center community. We've got uh, more health care facilities, for example, opening uh, in Wyndham. We've got Mercy Hospital opening an outcare facility uh, in town. Uh, in just a few weeks. And as these things continue to evolve, uh, the, a scheduled transportation service is going to inject a level of vibrancy to, to the downtown in, in mm -hmm. Bridgeton, to the, the, downtown, the, the downtown, the causeway area of Naples. Uh, it will serve to uh, get residents from the Lake region to health care and other services uh, in Wyndham on an, on an increasing basis and then taking them from places like Wyndham into, uh, into Portland, whether it be for work or things like health care services. So uh, there are other developments happening as well, and I think the bus service will play into that <clears throat> naturally. The um, other factor that's important, I think, to uh, year-round and seasonal residents as uh, one of the most important issues that we have in Wyndham uh, is traffic. And a point that I've made uh, on a number of occasions is that uh, every person riding that bus will be one car that isn't backed up on Route 302 at Raymond on a Friday night right. or that uh, you won't be sitting behind at, <laughs> at Booty's Corner uh, at uh, 7.30 a.m. in the morning. That yes. every person we can put on this bus will be a vehicle trip uh, that isn't causing congestion. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a bottleneck for the region and I think we all recognize that. So mm -hmm. this is an important and a relatively low-cost strategy to help address some of these concerns. Mm -hmm. Roads cost millions of dollars. Financing this transportation service costs a few thousand. It seems like a wise investment uh, from the standpoint, uh, speaking on behalf of the Wyndham Economic Development Corporation, seems like a wise investment from, from their standpoint. Mm -hmm. So uh, those are all important considerations to, to factor into this. Well, it's very important that people uh, realize that we need support for this project and you can support it by attending your town meeting and voting for this service. This um, can't happen any other way. So if you know someone um, or if, if you will in fact benefit from the service, we encourage you to attend your town meeting to support this. Also, um, we encourage you to, to call your town office and ask them when uh, the town meeting is and how the vote, how and when the vote will take place. Having just celebrated Earth Day, the environmental benefits of bus service means a reduction in our carbon footprint. For senior citizens, it means more independence. For teenagers, it means access to jobs. 
And for caretakers and family members, it means taking 15 minutes to drive someone to a bus stop, saving the driver hours on the road. Nationwide, increased fuel costs have led to a 50% rise in the use of public transportation. And with gasoline prices expected to rise above $4 a gallon, we believe that regional bus service is an idea whose time has come. I'm Lisa Villa. We hope that we've been able to share the value and importance of regular scheduled bus service to our region. Thank you for joining us today.